YouTube. Welcome back to the Allegheny Northern and today we're going to do a very quick video. Uh, I know I said that I wouldn't have any more for this year and something happened on the layout that I thought, oh my god, if this is happening to me then it's probably happening to somebody else who is also struggling and I found a solution by accident. So I figured I would share this with you in case this is something that you're also experiencing. So my layout is DCC, as everybody knows, and I am running uh, just a Zephyr uh, Express. It was my first dive into DCC, and then as the layout expanded, I went and I added a uh, booster to it. Now, by adding the booster to it, uh, what that did was is it created two separate blocks. And as you can see right now, we've got a train that just is crossing. Uh, right there at that bridge, it is crossing over from the booster onto the built-in booster into the command center right here. Okay, so not exactly, um, you know, real exciting. Except, every time a train was going across from the booster to the command center booster, I was getting a short, and the train would eventually work itself through the short um, and get across, but it was, you know, obviously tripping out, and you'd hear that alarm. Um, and I didn't know why. So, uh, I had two trains running. They're the two trains that are always running on the layout in most of my videos. And you'll notice, uh, here's a set of Conrail engines right here. Uh, and this, this trio has been making basically endless loops here, just sort of going around the layout. And then you'll notice that one locomotive is somewhere up here is trailing all by itself. And I don't know where he is in the loop. In fact, this is the third time tonight I've lost him all by himself. Uh, but, uh, what I was noticing was, is that depending on how the trains were isolated on the different boosters would determine whether or not I got a short. And I tried absolutely everything on this layout to get this thing to work. And when I say I tried everything, I do mean that I tried absolutely everything to get that short figured out. I reset the booster. I reset the command station. I shut everything off. I went upstairs for half an hour because I was angry. I checked all of my ARs and reset all my ARs. And there's three on the layout. That was a pain. Um, I hadn't changed any wiring, but I checked all the wiring. I made sure nothing had gotten crossed. It was hours and hours and hours and hours of work. And then I noticed that this little guy was fighting the consist that it was in. And it had not been fighting the consist before. Um, and I said, okay, well, maybe he just needs cleaned. I took him off the track, and lo and behold, I had no more shorts. Hmm, interesting, right? So then, uh, I cleaned the locomotive, uh, serviced it, I oiled it, greased it, you know, all that, that sort of stuff that you do with the true locomotives, and put it back on the track. And, of course, I went right back into the consist and started running. Um, not necessarily smoothly, but it was running, and then everything was fine, and then I started having short circuits again. Hmm. Okay, so I figured, well, there's got to be a problem with this locomotive. Um, and you can see it hit some dirty track there. but And I didn't know what this problem could possibly be. And then I thought, huh, I wonder if there's something wrong with the decoder. Now, I had been trying very, very hard to look up online to see what could possibly uh, have been some of the issues. And I found out that apparently sometimes decoders can get a little wonky on you. Um, especially if they haven't been used in a while, or they've been used often, depending on what it is. And sometimes when that happens, they end up drawing a lot of current. Uh, and if they start drawing a lot of current, what happens when they get close to the uh, max level of what the booster can handle, it'll trip out. Well, I don't know. I, on a whim, I took that locomotive off the track, and I reset the decoder to the factory settings. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you go into your uh, decoders, you go into your CVs, and you set CV8 to a value of 8. Uh, and this is on the Digitracks, at least. I don't, I don't know if some of the other ones do that. They may have different. You need to look up your decoders, um, your decoders uh, manual. And once I did that, he's been running around here now for about 45 minutes, and I don't have an issue. So... I can't tell you what went wrong, um, but I can tell you that it was isolated to this locomotive and it was definitely something with the decoder. So, 
Um, if you are experiencing this sort of issue where you are suddenly drawing more power and your unit is tripping out and up until this point you were not having that issue, um, there's a very good chance that one or multiple of your decoders may have gone sour on you and I don't mean that they're necessarily bad and you can't use them anymore, but definitely try taking uh, your locomotive, taking it back to uh, its factory setting. Now, if you have spent a whole lot of time and you've put speed tables on there uh, and all of that, yes, you're going to lose that um, unless you're using a software that, that stores a value that you can restore, you're going to have to recreate it. Um, so, so copy down any values to any CVs that you, you know, may need. But as you can see, um, I've got uh, I've got my power lash up and it's running just fine. It's been crossing through all of the uh, the power districts here, and then of course uh, the train, which is which is running on full, is doing just fine right there. And then climbing up into the dark, I don't know if you can see him, but uh, there goes our little engine that could, who couldn't earlier, and he's also doing just fine. So, uh, if you are having those issues in your power districts, check your decoders. It's the last thing you're, you're probably going to think of. I know it was the last thing I thought of, um, and had I not found a small little blurb online, I probably would have missed it. But uh, take a look at that and see if that is your problem. Hope this information is helpful and saves you hours of frustration uh, and makes it so you don't check every single inch of wiring that you have on your layout like I have on the last two nights.